Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be doing more practice with set operations. Now this is problem 1 from section 1.2 of your free online discrete math textbook. And I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. So before we get started, I want to show you what this looks like visually so that we can get a better understanding of how these set operations work. So let's say we have three sets, which we do A, B, and C. And then this entire Venn diagram exists in the universe U. Okay, so now if you want to set up a Venn diagram using these three sets a, for A, B, and C, you can just write in where A is 0, 2, and 3, B is 2, and 3, and I'll talk about this in a moment, and C is 1, 5, and 9. Now, what you can then do is relate these three sets and and move these elements to their proper location. So for example, this two should be in the middle and this three should be in the middle. And I need to erase this two and this three so that you can clearly see that A and B both share the elements two and three. They're still in A and B. There's still in A, there's still zero, three, and two. And in B, there's still that three and that two. So everything's good still. But this makes it a lot easier when we answer these questions. So let's start with A. What is A intersect B? Well, that's exactly where A and B intersect, which is this entire region. And the elements in this region are 2 and 3. So this is the set containing the elements 2 and 3. And you can verify that by noticing that both A and B share the elements 2 and and three. All right, let's do part B. A union B. This is everything in either A or B. So still two and three, but also zero now. So this is the set containing zero, two, and three. Let's keep going. What about B union A? Now, B union A is where we take B and we add A, but it's the exact same set. And so the whole point here is that B and C have the same answers, meaning that you can write the order of this union however you wish. All right, next up, A union C. So it's all of A and then the rest of C that I didn't draw in. Okay, so what is in this region? Well, I see 0, 2, 3, 1, 5, and 9. So the set containing those elements. 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, and 9. And no, it doesn't need to be ordered. You can write this in any order you want. All right, up next we have A minus B. So this means start with A and subtract B. So I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm going to subtract B here. And what have I selected? Well, in this case, I selected zero and that's it. And so this is the set containing the element zero. All right, F, B minus A. So in this case, we start with B and then we subtract A from that selection. And so what do we have in there? Well, it looks like nothing. So this is the empty set. Now you may have noticed by now that I haven't written in U yet. There are elements in the universe that haven't been described yet. For example, where is four? Well, four is outside here. What about six and seven and eight? Same thing, they're all outside. And that'll allow us to determine a complement. A complement is literally everything in the universe that's not in A. So all of this stuff, everything that's not A. And so that includes everything but 0, 3, and 2. So that includes 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that is the complement of A. 
So another way of thinking about this is u minus a. That's what a complement is. All right, c complement. So we take everything outside of c. Everything but c. So that is everything but 1, 5, and 9. So 0, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, and 8, I think that is. Let's do A intersection C. So this is everywhere where A and C intersect, which is right here. And this is the empty set. There's nothing there. And last but not least, this is the symmetric difference of A and B, which is everything in the union minus everything in the intersection. And so that is specifically zero right here. So it's everything that is in either A or B, but not in both. Anyways, that completes this problem. Thanks everyone, and I'll see you all in the next video.